What's up everybody? It is the best bot kid smooth and I am back with another reaction video man and This time we're gonna be talking about Michael Myers the Halloween movie the new Halloween movie That's coming out this October Only reason why I'm doing a really a reaction even on this channel I do have another channel where I could react to movies and shit like that, but Halloween is like my favorite movie franchise of all time Michael Myers is my favorite Serial killer of all time. I love the movies. I know everything about them. The the, chronolo the chronology, the history of the movies and whatnot. The good ones, the bad ones, and even why some of them even exist. Um, and which is, before I even get to it, I have not watched the trailer yet. I'm Hopefully it will answer a lot of questions I have. Because when I saw the announcement and I seen the posters for a new Halloween, I'm like, wait a minute, they're bringing back... Jamie Lee Cur uh Jamie Lee Cur uh Jamie Lee Curtis's character who plays Laurie Strode, aka Michael Myers' uh sister, right? But when if you follow the story, you gotta think it was like, well, how is this possible? Because Michael Myers, I mean, you had Halloween one and two, which focused around Laurie Strode, but then she was missing from like Halloween three, four, and five and six, and then she made a return. And Halloween H2, H2O, which was 20 years later, uh, after the events of the first uh, two movies. And um, you know, we all know how that ended. And then Halloween Resur then it kind of really had to change how that ended, at least the, the story of In Between Time, because they had to put out Halloween Resurrection, which, spoiler alert, uh, Michael Myers was finally able to kill Laurie Strode in Halloween Resurrection. Um, and they kind of ended... Michael Myers, uh, the, the series of that movie's off with that, him finally killing the last of his bloodline and and so on, and, and that's it. And then till they gave the franchise to Rob Zombie. And I honestly, guys, I avoided the Rob Zombie remakes because Rob Zombie likes two things, and that's gore and tits. He likes blood, gore, and tits. Three things, blood, gore, and tits. That's all Rob Zombie likes, and that wasn't Michael Myers' a mantra, the original Michael Myers. There wasn't a lot of gore a lot of blood in the original Halloween series. He Michael Myers skill, uh, scared you with suspense, silence, breathing, and that creepy music. The stuff Zombie uh, Rob Zombie added to the series was kind of just trash. I didn't like it. It turned me off from those movies, and I would just keep watching the original uh, uh, ones done by uh, John Carpenter and whatnot. But sorry to ramble on there. But the thing is, the reason why I'm asking uh, questions of seeing Laurie Strode, and I'm like, well, she died in that one. So what is this is this a reboot is this a a retake is this a sequel to halloween 2 is it this a follow-up to halloween 2 but then again h2o was a follow-up to halloween 2 so is this a follow-up a proper follow-up to h2o or is this kind of a reimagining of a h2o and doing like a, a proper follow-up to halloween 2 I, I don't get it. I don't understand, but maybe we'll find out because we know what happens in Halloween 1, 2. It, I mean, Halloween 1 and 2 takes place in the same night. Um, H2O took place 20 years after Halloween 2, and Halloween Resurrection was a follow-up to H2O. So it's like, where does this movie fit? What what questions, what loose ends does this film tie? And I want to know, and maybe we find out in this trailer of Halloween. Uh, so let's uh, take a look and... Hopefully we get our questions answered, or at least I get my questions answered. I've waited for him. Okay. Testing one, two, three. Yeah. We're on. We're here to investigate a patient that killed three innocent teenagers on Halloween in 1978. Okay. He was shot by his own psychiatrist. Okay, okay. Custody that night. So this must be a sequel to Halloween 2. Hello, Michael. I have something you might like to see. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Everyone in my family like turns into a nutcase this time of year. Yeah, I mean your grandmother is Lori Strode. She was almost murdered. Wasn't it her brother who murdered all those babysitters? No, it was not her brother. That's something that people made up. 
Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? What the hell did you do that for? <laughs> so I can kill him. Okay. My girl's back. John Carpenter. Okay. The bus crashed. Mom, what bus crashed? Michael escaped. Okay. Excuse me, somebody's in here. Hello? Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Ooh. He's waited for this night. He's waited for me. I've waited for him. Get out! Go on! Get inside! Okay. You don't believe in the boogeyman? <laughs> He's here! Michael! You should. Can you close the closet door? Oh, shit! Okay! I'm, I'm messing with it, man. Okay. All right. That looks amazing. And it actually somewhat answered a couple questions and it raised a few more for me because a lot of I seen some scenes like uh let's go back to the um all right so the beginning testing one two three we're on if you think about to investigate a patient that killed three innocent teenagers on a Halloween in 1978 1978 first movie he was shot by his own psychiatrist. His own psychiatrist that uh, he was taken into custody that night. And he spent the last 40 years. Alright. Taking it. Alright, you guys remember Dr. Loomis. Dr. Loomis was uh Michael Myers' doctor. Um he shot him. I don't know if that he shot him in Halloween one. And I think at the end of that movie, he looked down because he he was shot him out the window. He looked down. And he wasn't there. And then that led on to the, the follow-up, which uh, it was when Michael Myers was stalking Laurie Strode in the ho hospital and whatnot. Um, but the confusing part, he said he spent the last 40 years. In captivity. In captivity. So spent the last 40 years. So I'm going to do some quick math. So this is a direct sequel pretty much uh, to 1978. So this means everything that took place between... The end of Halloween 2 and uh, Halloween Resurrection didn't take place. It's like they're completely ignoring that because if you spent 40 years, the 40 years from 1978 would be 2018. That would be present time. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to do some quick freaking math. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I would feel like an idiot. So 2018 minus 1978. That's 40 years, right? Yep, 40 years. All right, so that means... Halloween movies between three all the way to resurrection did not exist, did not occur. So that means Laurie Strode did not chop his head off in Halloween H2O. And Michael Myers didn't come back to get her in Halloween Resurrection. So they kind of kind of really rebooting and refreshing that whole thing. So it's starting from Halloween 2. This is the direct uh, sequel. All right, let's uh, get a continuation. Hello, Michael. I have something and you might like to see. <laughs> okay, this is when he's in a nut house. Michael Myers had a couple incidents when he was in a nut house. It was a Halloween at the beginning of Halloween one. Everyone in my family like. Uh, he uh, I think he escapes from the nut house. It was ho either Halloween one. Or Halloween four, because yeah, after he stabs his sister at the uh, in the beginning of the movie as a as a young as a young boy, they put him in um, a nut house. He uh, escapes, and that's how he gets out the uh, in that car on a family. He also escapes in Halloween H two O, and I think um, not Halloween H two O. What is it? What is it? The one he uh, escapes from, and they have to warn like the town. I think it's Halloween four. 
It's Hall yeah, it's Halloween four, uh, with the little girl and whatnot. But turns into a nutcase this time of year. Yeah, I mean your grandmother is Lori Strode. Lori Strode, okay. She was almost the house. Murdered. Wasn't it her brother who murdered all those babies? That's the scar that she got. Brother, that's within... the name that people made up. It is her brother, but I pray maybe it's not. Night that he would escape. What the hell did you do that for? Oh, they got to do from Remember the Titans. All right, so the reason why I'm, I'm playing it back because there's some. All right, see this this scene that took place in another Halloween movie. Now I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was Halloween one or Halloween four, but this this is how he got out the first time. This is exactly how he got out the first time. Is they they crash the bus. He uh, he managed to escape. He's on the roof, and I think he rips like the neck off of the driver in the original uh, movie. But maybe that happens or reimagined here. The bus crashed. Mom, what bus crashed? Michael escaped. Now, this scene here. If you guys don't remember, Halloween H2O. Uh, there was a mom and a daughter. They had to stop. This was it was definitely Halloween H2O. They had to stop and to a rest stop to go to the bathroom. They had to go into separate stalls. And Michael Myers comes into the bathroom with them, but he doesn't harm them. He grab he takes the woman's purse and takes her keys so he can drive off to Haddonfield or whatever uh, had yeah, Haddonfield, um, Illinois to, you know, continue his hunt for Louis Stroh. So this scene actually happens. And H2O, but in this movie, it happens a bit differently. Excuse me, somebody's it, in here. Almost the same way. Hello? That happened. Of course, they added this. This didn't take place in H2O. Oh, yeah. Oh, this music is classic, dog. This night. He's waited for me. I've waited for him. Get out! Yep. Get inside! This is what's up, man. Not wasn't even there. She going crazy. Don't believe in the boogeyman. That that's from um Halloween one, when he sits in the um when he has the uh, curtain, the bed sheet curtains. And I remember it was Lori Shaw's friend. Uh, they were all supposed to meet at uh, one of their uh, friends' house. They got there first. They start like, you know, fucking. He goes downstairs to get a beer. Michael Myers stabs him into the cabinet, takes his glasses, put the sheet over him, go upstairs, and then uh, kills his girlfriend, right? He's here! Michael! Yo. You should. Can you close the closet door? This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Yo. So, I am, my hype level for a Halloween movie, for this Halloween movie, has jumped to, uh, it's at a 10 because I feel like for what, all the stuff displayed here and all the things I was able to pull out, I feel like they're doing a proper follow-up to Halloween too. There was a lot of questions because of, Forget Halloween 3, that didn't have nothing to do with Michael Myers. It was a John Carpenter experiment. Michael Myers, the movie of, the story of Halloween was not supposed to be completely focused on Michael Myers. It was supposed to be a different scenario each film. So the first two films was the serial killer. Uh, the next film was supposed to be about witches. And the next film was supposed to be about something else. But because of the success of Michael Myers and then the epic failure of this Halloween 3 they had no choice but to go back to Michael Myers and they didn't I don't know if they really even had a proper story follow-up so that's why you know they uh the story story changed I thought the, the direction they were going in with Halloween 4 or 5 and maybe 6 they, it, it tied in pretty well but then but people wanted to know man what happened to Laurie Strode and and how that's supposed to all tie in. And they came back with H2O. Which at at the time made a lot of sense. Um, and then you think about um, Resurrection. Because H2O was supposed to be the end. The way that it ended. And then for Resurrection to come out. They flipped it. Because they said alright Michael Myers 
uh, choked out somebody, crushed his voice box, and put his mask on somebody else. So the person that Lori Strode chopped head off wasn't really Michael Myers. It was a paramedic, right? So that happened. So that they did that accurately to push out resurrection and for him to kill Lori Strode at the beginning and then he kill a bunch of teens and, and, and finishes up. Um, this one seems like, so what they're doing, I repeat, apparent, according to this trailer, is that they're wiping out everything from 4, 5, 6, H2O and Resurrection as that never happened. And they're going directly from what happened from 2 onward. I think that's a good idea. Best way to reboot or to continue a story that was pretty good. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. It's coming out this October. I am there day zero. Halloween, Jamie Lee Curtis is back. Uh, got some nice actors in there. This was a sick trailer. I am looking forward to the movie. Please let me know what's your thoughts on the new Halloween movie. You can let me know by hitting this uh, like button or you can let me know in the comment section below and uh, we can discuss uh, in the comment section. So if you like my content, please subscribe. And if you want to support my content, make sure you hit up the Patreon at patreon.com slash kidsmove. Thank you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.